Hello guys, welcome to the 13th video in this tutorial series Android application development using Kotlin. So today we are going to implement Recycler View and Card View. In the previous video we had discussed the theoretical aspect of Recycler View and Card View but now in this video we are going to implement our Recycler View and Card View in code. Well, I am going to create a simple application in MBB pattern as, as we did earlier and implement uh, our required component here. So let's go to the layout activity underscore main I'd like to clear this out and initialize a relative layout or a linear layout let me do relative today I need a width height okay that's all before going into a recycler view we should first add dependencies for our recycler view so let's go to our gradle scripts okay build.gradle the app label build.gradle and this is where we add our third party libraries and dependencies so in a similar way uh, the implementation uh, for the recycler view and card view should also be added here so let me do that quickly Uh, so these are the two dependency statements here just add them and then uh, click uh, build gradle here so that those libraries can be downloaded and then can, and then can be implemented in your program just add these libraries here okay just add these libraries here and then uh, a yellow bar is going to pop up here uh, click on gradle build and then uh, we are good to go so let's go to activity as main now I'm going to implement my recycler view here remember in the last video I talked about how recycler view is kind of a replacement for list view so we use it in a very similar fashion let me give an ID of RV okay um, the second thing I'd like to do is I'd like to create another layout file for our single view uh, we did this for our list view also if you remember so let me go ahead and type uh, give me give a name single underscore layout and the root element is going to be let's do relative layout today so relative layout okay so I don't need anything fancy just an image view uh, it's which is going to be 72 dp and height is going to be 72 dp either uh, and let's give an id id uh, let's write imv this is done let's implement another text view here so i'll also show you the view so that you know where these things are actually being added so i'd also like to add an icon or a, or an image okay so there's your image view uh, let me add one padding okay, I don't need a padding here but on top of this okay I'll not do this for now let's go and add a text view so text view is going to be uh, maybe wrap content wrap content uh, so I need an ID here this is for title uh, text let's give title for now just to see where these components are so I want to move this to the to the right side of image view so right off IMV okay that's done and I want to implement some margin left margin few margin like 10 dB okay now it's done let's go ahead and add another text view also I wanted to add a text size here so let's do text size maybe 22 dp okay that's big enough okay now below let's add a text view wrap content again wrap content obviously I need this to the right of my image view the same thing to write off is this to write off image view and I want this below title so below title let's give a title so that you can see this thing properly or text this is description description a 
again a padding or a margin I need 10 dp here that's all okay that's done uh one more thing i'd like to include here okay okay no no i think i think i'm done with this i think i'm satisfied with this oh i just need an id here sorry so id is going to be this script sum okay so yeah this is going to be my layout for one single view uh, now I'd like to take you to another part of this project so first of all as in MVP we are going to create packages here so first one for obviously a view second one is for model third one is for presenter fourth one we're going to make interfaces and one more we're going to add for adapter okay so these five are going to be my views i'm going to move this main activity inside view the factor okay it's done now i'd like to start with the interface here so i'm going to create one interface let's go kotlin file class interface let's try it my interface this is okay so here i'm going to create interfaces for my view model and presenter so i'm just going to do interface data view for my view fun get data from presenter value add a list and the class type is going to be a data module which I'm going to create sometime later this is our module class another one I'd like to build is interface presenter I'm just going to call one function get data interface model interface this is going to have two operations fun add value and fun get value and this is obviously going to return type again and add a list So quickly if you don't know about array list uh, array list is a type of data storage where you can store multiple values in one index in array if you remember each value used to be represented in one particular index one particular value used to be represented in one particular index but in case of array list you can include as many component as you want suppose in index 0 of array list index 0 of array list can have two integer two strings two floats and yeah many many numbers like that and then uh, the data pattern uh, goes in similar way in other index too so that's an array list uh, i think we're done here let's go to our model now we're going to create our model class this is obviously going to be a class so the model class is data model So I'm just going to create a constructor for this one. Right. Title. Type is going to be string. Again, a var. A description. Again is going to be string. And var image. And this type is going to be integer. And this is going to implement model interface. So if we go back and implement methods here so these two methods should be implemented here let's remove these two to do methods okay ah something i did wrong i should have renamed it data model 
but I named it data model. Okay, I'll just change these names here. So go back to interface once and change these to data model. Okay, I just need that same class model. Okay, this is fine. Let's go to data model and I just need to change this name to data model here. Okay, I think I think we're good until now. Uh, what does the function add value does here so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add these three these three parameters that will be passed from the presenter to my array list here so var list say list array list data model and okay something is missing here now below here I just want to add list dot add and I want to add data model data model so title and var sorry title this and image title description and image to our data model there so everything looks good until now there's some problem with this one but we'll come to this later on so this is expecting a getter or setter so you can move this to constructor i think uh, not exactly I cannot move this to constructor okay let's check it controls it okay we'll leave this for now the same way okay we'll leave this leave this as same for now so let's go to override function get value so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to return my list here so that's is all I'm going to do uh, okay okay I remembered this one it should have been equal to sorry so our data model class is done this is a model class it expects three variables here a title uh, description and an image and i'm just adding adding those values in add a list using this data model class and its constructor and then get value which just returning this these values back to the presenter and hence finally and hence finally to the view so let me go and create my presenter class here uh kotlin file class again it's going to be a class so let me name it main uh sorry i wanted to name it main presenter but i hit enter so soon let me just refactor this so main presenter okay uh, what I'm going to do is I'll have one parameter in its constructor so my interface dot data view and this is going to implement presenter interface from my interface back there we created our interface so just implement methods and get data uh, what we'd like to do here is we would first like to initialize a view so private var view column uh, sorry data view equals to view so we so we have actually created a new variable called view and initialize this value to this variable now we need an init function here we're just going to do model dot ah sorry we first need to define our model so private model so this is going to be a type private variable model so the type is going to be data model and i need to give my values here so let me write bank of post in title uh, this this is bank of post in description and 
one image so let me just use the mid map image that's been given here so r dot mid map dot i see on the score here <coughs> okay so something something seems to be wrong let me go back to my data model and see how my constructor is so my constructor is string string and in this image so i think it's okay oh equals to data model okay now it's okay so i need to import this r import okay now we're fine so what i can do here is i can do model dot add value okay and then the presenter on the next step is going to to do view view dot get data from presenter model dot get value okay the presenter is also done let's go back to our view so in our view i would like to implement my view interface here too so this is data view i think yeah, data view hmm. implement methods get data from presenter okay we put to go until now i'm just going to get values uh, in this video and i'm going to stop and i and i'll continue this in another video so what i'd like to do is i'd like to first define a presenter here so private variable presenter this is going to be of type presenter and i'm going to initialize this to null right now so after this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to initialize my presenter presenter equals to main presenter and then we have one parameter it's a context so this and i'll call init view from here obviously i'll make this function by myself so create function init view okay so i'm going to initialize my value here so let's say let's first retrieve the value so presenter dot get data gives me the values this i just need to set my recycler view so i'm going to stop this video for now and in the next video i'm going to continue working on recycler view and card view and also setting the adapters on them and then we'll finally run the application so see you in the next video thank you